Hey guys, this is Marius from Please Fix. Today we are going to take a look on how you can create these extremely cool title slides for your next presentation. As always, the slides will be available down via the link in the bio for free. You can just download them and use them for your own purposes. And uh, also, if you're interested in the custom presentation, I also run my own presentation agency where you can directly request the presentation. I will create it directly for you. If you're interested to learn more about PowerPoint in depth, I also have my course linked below where you will learn everything in PowerPoint and become a total master of it. Um, but without further ado, let's jump right into the video and uh, let me explain this one. First up, I want to right click on the slide and hit format background and then choose a gradient fill. This gradient fill is already pre-selected by myself because I like these colors a lot. I'm moving from a red to a nice orangey tone. Um, you can do blue, you can do green, all kinds of things, but I just wanted to have something that pops. And this also works especially with this kind of style of slide to have two colors that are kind of similar. So you want to go from a red to an orange. You want to go from purple to a blue, maybe from a green to a lighter green. Um, but going from a red to a blue, for example, wouldn't look that nice on these kind of slides because we want to create a lot of depth with these slides that we're working on today. Next up, we're going to zoom out a bit because we want to draw a large shape over the slide that overlaps on the sides of the slide like this. And this looks weird for the moment, but this is for a purpose because we want to click on edit shape now and then click edit points. What edit points does is it will allow to manipulate a shape in different ways that are normally not possible. You can click on these little rectangles here and then these will appear, which will allow to kind of change them back and forth a little bit. So we have rounded wavy formats in your slide. And this is already perfect, so we can keep it as it is and just repeat the process for more rectangles that we are going to add to the slide. To make this a little bit easier, I will just hold Control, Shift and drag up or drag down in this case and then go to the edit shape again, edit points. And we always want to have one side to be higher and the other side to be lower to create the most depth. So in this case, I'm going to choose this one again and put it up. And this one is going to go down. So now you can see the right side is up, left side is down, other, <laughs> the right side is down, the left side is up and it looks very nice. We're just going to repeat that for another one. Control shift and drag. You can also use just holding the right mouse clicker or what do you call it in English? <laughs> I, I forgot the, the right mouse click uh, and then just do it. Um, and then let's repeat the process again. Put this one up and this one is going to go down. They don't have to look exactly the same. They all should look different to make it feel more organic. When somebody's looking at your slide, it's also okay if it kind of overlaps with each other. Um, so that's not a problem. And then we are going to add a third one. Yep, that looks good. Click on edit shape, edit points. And then in this case, I actually want to add a point. So when your cursor looks like this, you can add a new point as you can see. And in this case, we're going to put the bottom up. So we're going to take a little bit of a different approach here. And then we're going to drag both of the corners down a bit. Like this. Oops. Now we have to click edit shape again. Sometimes it's a little bit fiddly, these controls, but 
It's PowerPoint. You know that it's a little bit fiddly. It will always be, and it's kind of part of, of what it is. And this shape, I think, would look best if it's at the very back. Yes, this adds a lot of depth to the slide. It kind of looks like hills that you have. And then we want to zoom out again and then kind of rearrange these a little bit. So now you can see it really looks like mountains that we have on the slide. Okay. Now we want to add styling to it to make it look cool because this doesn't look cool at the moment. So we're going to select the one that is at the very, very back of the slide and also choose a gradient fill. And also here, since we also use the red fill for the background, it will already apply this to the um, shape that is selected. But we want to switch things around. So red is on top right and then the orange is on the bottom because this will create even more depth between the background and these shapes and then we want to remove the outline and at last the most important step is to add a shadow so i'm going to choose the outer shadow here and add a blur to it reduce the transparency a little bit and now you can see we have this very cool depth effect I said depth a lot quite in this in this tutorial right because it's all about depth in this tutorial and then hit format shape hit it twice now I hit it three try three three times hit it twice right this and then it will keep it so you don't have to click again like I just did that mistake hit it and boom all of them look pretty cool already but what do you want with a PowerPoint slide with no text? I mean, in the end, we're talking about presenting here. This will allow us to add text. So I'm going to add a nice text. If I can see my keyboard. And let's choose Gilroy. Very heavy font. Make it larger. 200 maybe. And then center it, put it to the middle, put it to the middle of the slide. And uh, we will then select all of the stuff again. And holding shift, we can deselect the please fix logo. And this looks about right. Maybe. Maybe this. Yes. This looks good. Because what we want to do now is this should come out of the slide. So it is in between the shapes. For that, we are going to pull up our selection pane. And now we can see we have a text box and we have three different rectangles. And we want to drag the text box right behind all of these rectangles but in front of the last one, because here you can see we have this very cool depth effect um, that it's kind of in between uh, those slides. I mean, we can even see what it looks like if we put it in front here. So then it kind of peeks out here and then it could peek in here. So that one is also very cool. And to have a very cool animation going with the whole thing, I'm just going to duplicate my slide, go back to the first slide, drag this down and drag these guys all up to cover the slide. And then very important to make it feel more organic, they should change a little bit so that they're moving at different speeds. So now everything is hidden. But if you apply morph to the second slide, place fix will come in from the bottom and makes it look very, very natural and very cool at the same time. You can even take this to a more extreme approach. 
if you are just going to duplicate all of these uh, waves here. So let me do that really quick. Uh, duplicate them, turn them around. And for that, I'm actually going to use a little bit of a trick um, that I can tell you right away. If you're looking to select multiple items and then rotate them, but you don't want to change how they're oriented at the moment, you will just group them at first. Um, we'll do that here, group them, right? Then you can duplicate them. Then you can turn them like this. And now we can go ahead again and then ungroup everything again. Otherwise, if I wouldn't have done it, this will become very fiddly again, I think is the right word. And now we want to rearrange everything um, to, so it, 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 it kind of fits the whole narrative that we're looking for. Um, adding a second slide and then moving everything out of the way. Right, and also here, moving everything out of the way, like this. Have this here at the bottom a little bit. And then what we want to do is, you want to change those up a little bit so that there is no particular order to this whole rectal, rectangle thing. And I know it looks kind of chaotic at the moment, but trust me and trust the process for now. So now they overlap and we're going to duplicate again. We can actually forget about this slide. It's not necessary. And then we're going to take text box on a second slide and pull it right in the middle. Yep. And then all of these move out of the way until you can see the text. I know it's not easiest thing to do but it's worth it trust me this maybe yeah that looks kind of cool it's a little bit more hidden than before but i think it looks kind of cool and if we add a transition oops oh no i did it on the wrong slide so we have to move it here and then the morph is going to happen from that slide to the next one so let's do a preview and you can see it's even more extreme than it was when you just had one side. That's it. That's it for the video. That's how you can do. Now I activated the um, follow me function from my from my webcam. Um, I hope <laughs> it, it's not that annoying. This file is available in the link down the bio. In the bio, um, just get it and try it out for yourself. You can change up the coloring a little bit to make it fit your style or change up the font. You can even do like rectangular things um, instead of having a wavy format that could also look very futuristic. Um, if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please feel free to buy my course. Um, it's also linked down below. And if you just think, man, that's very cool but I'm not feeling doing all of that on myself because I don't have the time for that. Feel free to reach out to me. I can create an amazing presentation for you and also help you um, finding a narrative that will amaze your audience. So you will next win your next pitch, um, win that client, whatever you're looking for. Um, we've had dozens of companies with this. I've collected quite a lot of money with it. So, um, that's also linked below. If you liked the video, feel free to like and see you guys in the next one. I'm excited.